Hello everybody, I'm the Solar Gamer, and welcome back to Civilization VI as the Aztecs. Uh, in the last episode, we took over Lyon and Avignon, uh, and uh, this episode we're going to finish off France, hopefully, and worry about what's coming to uh, Manchester. Because I did notice this while I was switching recordings here, and uh, I can assume they're going to attack. This is, I mean, she's stupid for doing it, because she's not going to make a dent in uh, my cities, let alone my army, my, my front line. So... This is going to go nowhere, but we do have to expect something. So what I think I'm going to do first and foremost is go ahead and work on something else down in Malinoco. Uh, probably a field cannon, just so we can protect the seas from this. Uh, we also, actually, we do have a caravel down here, do we not? We do. Okay, so we'll keep that right there. And like I said, I do want like a field cannon or something like that down here. Well, I should go ahead and purchase that in Birmingham, because we have the Military Academy down here, so we can promote, hopefully, the field cannon right when it gets, uh, built. Yeah, oh my god, 1,300. That is way too much. Shoot. Uh, well... Hmm. What I will do, actually, is buy a Naturalist, because I definitely want one of these guys. Uh, but how much will it cost to build a field cannon? Eight turns. Ah, uh, damn it. Alright, well, I, I don't want to buy it. I want to save as much money as I possibly can in the 14 turns that I have so that we can uh, double that. So, we'll just, we'll, we'll be fine. I, I have no doubt in my mind that we'll be fine, but I just want to kind of protect myself from that. So, for a Civic, we'll work on Opera and Ballet. It's two turns. I mean, we get two Envoys from that as well. I don't really think I'm going to be building the Balshoi Theater, but two envoys, that's nice. We can also send envoys out to probably Bres uh, Preslov, so that we get that third tier here, which is uh, two production in every encampment district when producing units, which is perfect. What else? We have one more. Uh, we could go to Seoul. Could go to... Uh, oh, we lost Amsterdam, so we might as well hit that up too. Actually, we can go two times. Perfect. We'll lock that in position. Great, so now they're our ally again, and we should have more production down in here. It's not going to tell us, like I said right away, because it doesn't upgrade the same turn, which is stupid, considering Civ V did. Uh, but it doesn't matter. We'll, we'll see the change next turn with building units. Okay, uh, you are heading this way. And I think we're going to upgrade uh, the uh, Salty Liberators to our first... Inf uh, no, we're not. I just realized I'm, I want to save money, not, not spend it. Uh, we can promote you, though, to, uh, I think, Amphibious? I mean, scaling cliff walls is fine, but, I, I mean, I don't think we're going to need to. Everything else is on land besides Scythia, and, you know, her capital is all open. So, it's not really needed. Uh, we will go ahead and just do uh, Amphibious. No combat strength and movement penalty when attacking from sea or river. Perfect. Okay, uh, you are in position, so you just wait for the uh, the siege tower. Actually, I think you... Oh, you can't attack anyway, because it's, you just can't. Uh, I think I want to move you across the river, actually. That would probably be a little bit smarter. Oh, my God. Go. <laughs> Shut up and go. Go. Why are you talking to me right now? Stop. My God. That seemed like way too many actions. Uh, Caravel, just sit there. And the ranger, you're going back off to explore. Have fun. In fact, no, you're not. I want you to come down to uh, Seoul. So I'll actually manually have you come down here and then explore from here. Because I want to explore as much as I possibly can to kind of backdoor Russia. If this goes that way. Uh, France has been targeted for a declaration of war by Amsterdam. Oh, yeah, France. Right, not me. Okay. What'd that do for us? Not yet. No, you're not getting any peace. We're still fine. We're still perfectly fine. We have barbarians somewhere. Way over here. Okay. Let's attack them. And kill them. There we go. Nice. Uh, so Sparta, like I said, I think you're going to work on all this stuff. 
Actually, you know what I was thinking? We build a, a, an encampment right here. It's kind of a perfect spot for that. Um, and it'll also be great in six turns if they actually are going to attack me, which I, I assume they will, because they're sending over catapults, which usually means that they're getting ready to attack. That is a sign, um, whenever they send siege units, that they're going to attack. So, I'm just going to assume at that point that, uh, they intend us harm. Okay. And in Sempawala, you're going to build me a factory. Absolutely. Let's attack Renz from here. Now, are you guys still at war against France? No, you actually made peace. Alright, well, that makes it easier for me. You're going to move there. You're going to move... Here. I might move you one more. Ah, it doesn't really matter. You have Amphibious, don't you? Yeah, you do have Amphibious. I could have stayed there, actually. Shit. That's <laughs> ah, fine. Doesn't really matter. Yeah, just stay there for now. Okay, the Naturalist. Right, so I don't exactly know where... Like, uh, must be on a valid National Park tile. What is a valid National Park tile? Let's take a look. Okay, national parks can be built on a cluster of any four tiles that meet the following requirements. The tiles must be natural wonders, mountains, or a tile with an appeal or charming, or, uh, of charming or better. All four of the tiles must be owned by the same city. The tiles must be contiguous and uh, form a vertical diamond shape. No tile can have an improvement or a district. Okay. Well, what do we want to make a national park? We could make these these mountains a national park. Uh, they have to be charming, I think. Which I assume they are. Yeah, they are definitely... Oh, they're breathtaking. Even better. Alternatively, we could go up here. Although there's improvements over here. Never mind. Um. Yeah, there's not really much else we can do besides that mountain range. Maybe... Over, no, there's improvements. Yeah, no, that's that's the best we're going to get, actually. I'm okay with that, to be honest. So if we come... Hang on. How do we do it? Because we can't go on the mountains, obviously. Hmm. Well, let's, let's think of it for a second. Let's actually buy a tile. Buy these two tiles, I should say. Oh, they cost me an arm and a leg, but I'll do it anyway. Uh, and I guess it's just going to know when I get, you know, when I get you close. Maybe, hopefully. I guess we'll find out. I've never done this, so... We're learning together, really. Alright, uh, you have a builder, right? Go ahead and work on the, uh, the coal, please. England announced the evil deeds of France. Alright. Oh. Uh, Norway adopted religious orders. Russia progressed from the industrial to the modern, okay, and France denounced the evil, denounced the evil deeds of England. Cool. Uh, I was just looking, though. I was looking at our lumber mills. And I'll do that now, because I don't think there's anything else going to be popping up. Uh, our lumber mills, when it talks about the woods, it says old growth. I have no idea what that means. I mean, I, I saw... The way projects a fragile kind of strength and a certain inflexible precision. Yeah, I, I saw where it talked about old growth and new growth when it came to builders, but I really have no idea what that means. So if we can, we can, we might be able to upgrade our lumber mills then? To new growth or second growth or whatever it was called? This is a whole new realm for me, because I didn't even realize that to begin with. So, uh, Opera and Ballet is done, which unlocks uh, Balshoi Theater, the Grand Opera Policy, and Symphonies, which is four great musician points per turn. I don't think we're going to switch anything, though. Yeah, there's no need. But we will choose another Civic. And I think I'm going to do uh, Scorched Earth just to finish up the Industrial Era. And it gives us two uh, Envoys, so that's good. Speaking of which, we have more Envoys. So, I think we're going to work on Preslav still. Yeah, I kind of like that. Okay, uh, Balkan Cavalry, what the hell was that? Wait, why did it say that? What? Hang on. I need to check out um, 
Kreslov here. Kreslov. Your light and heavy cavalry units have five strength when fighting on hill tiles. Damn. I totally forgot about these, these unique bonuses, actually. I wasn't even reading them. Um, okay, so Brussels is you get 15% production towards wonders. Cool. Uh, Amsterdam's is your trade routes to foreign cities earn plus one gold for each luxury resource at the destination. Nice. Kumasi is trade routes to any city-state provide two pl uh, plus two culture and plus one gold for every specialty district in the origin city. And Toronto is regional effects from your industrial zone and entertainment complex districts reach three tiles further. Okay, that's nice. So, wait a minute. I, I don't think this is in range at all, but... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Atska is actually in range of our entertainment district because of Toronto. That is freaking perfect. What about Vilnius? I doubt it. One, two, three, four, five, six would be the normal. Seven, eight, nine. So, no. But... That's still pretty nice that we get two cities like that. Okay. Uh, Renz is going to fall very, very shortly here. In fact... Ah, oh, so close. Um, yeah, and you're not even up here yet. Well, we'll go in and we'll attack, because we can. Okay, next turn we have Renz, and we should also be close to taking uh, Amboys as well. Maybe even have it now, right? Yeah, we have Amboys now, actually. Alright. Damn. Damn it. There's a settler over here. <laughs> uh, I'm hoping they won't settle, but if they do, it's not a big deal. Keep city, of course. How are we looking with uh, religion victory? You're still where you were before. And we're also leading culture now. I, I knew that was going to happen, but uh, I'm glad that it finally did. Just so we have we have options. You know, if we, if we somehow lack the necessary turns to take another capital, or to take the last capital or whatever, the, you know, we, we go through here, um, then we have other options to win the game, which I like. Repair that. Ah, uh, I mean, yeah, I do want this city. It's out in the middle of nowhere. It's going to need a lot of work, but it's fine. All right. You're going all the way up here once I can. Uh, we are going to need a lot of builders, though. A lot of builders to kind of sweep through this area. But first and foremost, I want to check. Must be on a valid... But I can't be on a valid tile because I can't get on a tile. I got to read this again. All right, so the way I'm seeing it, if I go right there, I can probably grab these guys, right? What is this tile? Is this breathtaking? It's charming. So if I go right here, I still can't do it. What the hell is going on? I want to go like this. It says it has to be in a diamond formation. So one, two, three, four. That's diamond formation. This is annoying, actually. I'll be oh, maybe because it has a road on it. Shit. Oh, this is annoying. Um, I could come down here. That's breathtaking. We just need to buy this one tile. And if this doesn't work, then I don't know how the hell you do this, right? So, okay, now it's okay. Cool. So that's actually a legitimate zone we can do. Uh, right, so come over here. We're going to take out this encampment. Okay, and the next turn we'll take out the scout, and then we'll be good again. Let's go ahead and actually take out Renz right now, just so we can kind of complete this area, and, once and for all, kill off the French. No, no, no. Don't tell me that. Don't you dare tell me that. Where the hell is she? No, 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 no. 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 That's not even nice. Um. Son of a bitch. Where's the ranger? 
You need to come down here now. I, I assume it's probably going to be somewhere over here. That is annoying on so many levels. <laughs> yeah, keep the city, I guess. I'm not going to stop. Like, I, I'm going to keep myself at war. Uh, but I will go to war against England uh, once I upgrade these guys. Uh, right, this city's going to work on a... I don't know, actually. We could work on another spy. We could also work on an aerodrome, an entertainment complex, an industrial zone. We could do anything. I'm more inclined to want to do uh, the uh, aerodrome, though. Just because I want more opportunities to store my aircraft. It's not It's not going to matter, though. I mean, I'm, not pro I'm probably not going to use aircraft that much. It'll be another place to build them, at the very least, though. So let's just do it. Okay. Uh, Paris. Build me a... a, a, <laughs> a, a research lab, I guess. It's going to take you a bajillion years, but you'll get there eventually. I have faith in you. Alright, Renz, repair the monument. You just got to do a lot of shit. We're going to be on cleanup duty for a little while. Uh, you're going to sit... Preferably on the, uh... One, two, three. Yeah, if you sit right there, you'll be good. As for you... I'll keep you here. You're gonna go up to the, uh, the front line. I'm gonna keep you here because of all the French troops moving back and forth. And, uh, if I do go to war, which they're definitely gearing up for, um... I want to make sure I can defend all this this land here. Okay, but yeah, you're moving up to the front line. And Rio is going to go all the way back down to Amsterdam. Because we need more money. Kill. And finally... Build a coal plant. There we go. So that upgrades steel. Uh, gives us a Eureka towards steel. Uh, which will definitely help us in uh, ab obtaining it much, much quicker. In five turns, even. Then we'll reveal oil. Oh. This is great. We're almost in the atomic era. I mean, we could jump. Technically, we can go up to uh, computers through electricity. But I'd rather just take out all this stuff. Because this, uh, this is all great tech. You know what I mean? So. Oh. Village hut. Way over here. On an uncharted island that we just discovered. Nope. You want to tell me where your capital is, though? Because I am really confused as to where you uh, you have it. I didn't realize you expanded that far. It is arguable whether the human race have been gainers by the march of science beyond the steam engine. Alright, nice. So we unlocked steam power, which gives us the ironclad. Uh, which is the upgrade to the caravel, I believe. Yep, it is. Okay, well, again, we're going to upgrade after we Big Build Ben, which is... Wait, what did I just say? Until we build Big Ben. Yeah, I don't know if I said that wrong or not, but it sounded wrong in my head. <laughs> right. Let's work on steel. And claim a great person, actually. A great engineer, Gustav Eiffel. Nice. And you know what Gustav Eiffel's going to do? He's going to go all the way to France and actually not build the Eiffel Tower. Or... 480 production towards a wonder construction. Out of 1620. I don't think Paris will have enough production to build the Eiffel Tower. That would have been so freaking cool to get that in Paris. But I don't think it will be able to. Yeah, 5.5 production is not enough. So sadly, I'm going to have to build the Eiffel Tower somewhere else. But we own Paris at the very least. Uh, the Eiffel Tower it does what for us? All tiles in your civilization gain two appeal? Holy shit. Must be built on flat land adjacent to the city center. Damn. Uh, we are going to build that probably in the capital on one of the desert tiles. I don't know why I did that. I could have transferred you. Uh, we need five turns anyway, so why not? We'll give you the exercise, really. Uh, more trade routes? Yeah, I know. We still need to build more. Okay, fortify for the time being. You're going to move up 
uh, this way. Okay, the cavalry can actually come down this way and sit on this encampment tile once it's built so that nothing actually comes over here and pillages that. That would suck and be counterintuitive. So, I want to check something. Before we go too further, I can replenish farmlands I saw. Or, not farmlands, woods. Right? You can see that right here. Plant woods. But what does that mean on an, on an already built lumber mill? Because it says woods old growth. I don't know what that means. Okay, the ranger is still going to come all the way down here. So we can explore all of the, uh, well, this territory that we don't know of. And the caravel spotted a target, so we'll go straight for that and kill it. it it's so crazy being this far ahead where we can literally kill things in one hit. Like, that's just, that's awesome to me. It's a very good feeling. <laughs> uh, England asked the evil deeds of Russia. Have fun with that. That's, that's England. That's not a barbarian. Barbarians have spotted your city. No, no. That's just England. Although she is a, a barbarian at this point. Uh, she just got into the industrial era not too long ago, so. Four gold per turn, six gold and salt for dyes, niter, and open borders. I don't want to give you open borders. I'll tell you that much right now. And you know what? No. Screw you. Yeah, stupid, stupid. Shut up. <laughs> Don't be mean. God. Scythia announced the evil deeds of Russia. Alright, so, again, like I said, there there is no diplomacy in this in this game. It's absolutely insane that diplomacy has degraded this much, but... It's, you know? You know, that was a, that was a really bad mistake you just did there. Uh, we are going to first get an inspiration towards a nuclear program because with a dedicated research lab in place, your initiative to recruit scientists into a nuclear research program can commence. That is perfect. All right, um, we'll kill you first. And then we'll come back for you. You better be here. The capital is going to work on a zoo, I think, for the time being. And then we'll switch to uh, the Eiffel Tower once we can. England is going to be a little bit harder than France, mostly because of the, just the amount of units they have, not necessarily because of the strength of the units. The strength is nothing, right? I can easily kill these guys in one hit. It's just, they have a lot, right? So we have to kind of watch out for that. Luckily, there are walls in every single one of these French cities, so that will, you know, alone protect us from anything. Um, we're, this, this is going to be a cakewalk, I think. An absolute cakewalk. Yep, you're in position. Just sit there, please. Who else do we have? Uh, we have Gustav Eiffel in the capital now. So why don't you just sit here, and uh, we will take care of you in three turns. And uh, I think that's going to actually end the episode. Uh, we finished our war with France. Technically, in my eyes, I finished the conquest of the French region. They have a colony somewhere, which has been uh, promoted to their capital. I hope that there's only one more city out there, but there could be more. Uh, and we'll take care of France eventually, but right now she's not a threat anymore. She's been reduced to nothing. Uh, but yeah, either way, that is going to be it. So I hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and definitely stay tuned for more.